Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Editor Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to add a preloader to your Weebly site. Okay, so this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on Editor Tricks, and I will post a link to that written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. Step one, let's add some CSS codes. So copy the CSS codes in the written tutorial. Okay, and now go uh, in your site, go to settings at the top, and on the left, click on SEO, and on the right, scroll down to the header code area, and paste those CSS codes that you copied into the input box. On the bottom right, click on save. Okay, step two, we need to open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. To do that, go to theme at the top. On the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. Okay, step three, we need to add some HTML codes. Copy the HTML codes provided in the written tutorial. Now under header type on the left, select the first page layout. And on the right, underneath the body tag, directly underneath the body tag, give yourself some space and paste in that HTML code that you copied from the written tutorial. We'll clean that up a bit, make it look nice. Um, now repeat this step uh, for every other page layout that you have under header type. But for the sake of this tutorial, uh, I'm just gonna do it on uh, one page layout. Step four, add jQuery codes. So select the jQuery codes uh, in the written tutorial, copy them. Now on the left under assets, select custom.js and directly underneath that first line of jQuery coding that says jQuery function in the dollar sign, give yourself some space and paste in the jQuery codes that you copied from the written tutorial. Let's make that look nice as well. Just so we know what this is, we're just going to add in what right there. All right. Click save in the top right. Okay. And now we can publish our site. And let's see if our preloader is working. There it is. And there's the fade in. All right, guys. So I hope you found this tutorial to be useful um, and I will see you in the next video.